everyone. I am back out here in the jungle of Windward, Oahu, and I wanted to do a quick video on my current favorite knife, and that is the Tucson TS-72. This is my everyday carry knife. I've had this knife for about six months now, and I use it for pretty much everything you can imagine, and it has held up extremely well. It uh, it's D2 blade steel, really hardly shows any signs of use at all. Uh, this knife came exceptionally sharp right out of the box. It is just razor, razor sharp when you get them, like all the Tucson stuff that I've gotten. Uh, solid titanium handle and D2 blade steel. And what I like about this knife in particular is just the ergonomics of it. It's such a comfortable knife all the way around in your hand. I think they did an awesome job with the flipper tab being big enough to catch with your with your finger easily and makes a nice little finger guard there uh, behind the choil for not slipping if you're using it for heavy cutting or whatever. Um, just a really amazingly comfortable, solid built knife nice smooth titanium clip here it's got frame lock uh, Tucson has the ceramic KVT bearings inside and just a really awesome comfortable knife sorry I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes out here so I apologize for the camera shaking I um, wanted to kind of show a couple of the other Tucson stuff this is like I said this is my everyday carry knife that I use for work that I use for everything you can imagine and I do have a brand new one also that I keep on the side just in case I were ever to lose this one uh, I would have a have a backup um, currently they are out of stock on these online so I'm hoping they start making some more of them I would I would hate to think that they stopped producing this one it really all the way around out of the dozen or so different Tucson knives that I've gotten this is by far my favorite um, the frame lock here you can see sticks up just a little bit and makes it really comfortable to catch with your thumb open and close uh, it's kind of a kind of a heavier blade so it's not the fastest opening one that they have but uh, it opens nice and smooth uh, especially if you're working with gravity and you open it upside down it opens pretty easily like that um, but I'll show you a couple of the other Tucson knives that I have with me here and just for comparison's sake this is the TS-16 um, which I think is an awesome blade I just haven't found a whole lot of use for it as an everyday carry work knife it's it's almost too pretty to carry around and to use I, I don't want to mess it up so I just kind of keep this one as part of the collection but it's a really great looking knife um, again just insanely sharp blade uh, this one, again, is their uh, solid titanium and, and D2 steel for the blade. Um, issues I have with this one, the again, the catch on the frame lock is, is pretty much level across there, so it takes a little bit more to, to hit it with your thumb. Uh, the flipper tab itself is, is not as large as it could be, so this one, sometimes, you know, you gotta got to kind of work to catch it there with your finger. Um, the other one that I have here with me is the TS48 that I just got and again really nice looking knife um, it opens smooth issues I have with this one is that when you go to hold the the flipper tab sometimes your your back finger is there on the frame lock and it's pushing against itself it makes it kind of hard to open so you have to be a little more mindful of where you hold this one to open it you have to Kind of keep your hands back a little bit on it so the the ergonomics of the opening and closing are not nearly as nice on this one uh, i do love the blade design i like the knife overall it's just not my not my favorite of their stuff as far as you know being easy open and close and i mean it is a comfortable knife i do i do think it's a really cool blade i just you know as far as a work knife using it every day uh this is this is not my favorite one of theirs but Again, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you my personal favorite. I haven't seen too many other reviews of this particular knife. Um, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen any other reviews on 
this knife, so I figured I'd post one. Maybe this is one of the overlooked Tucson knives. It's one of the older models, I think. Um, it's not even one of the night morning design knives, so I'm not sure when this one actually came out. I actually overlooked it myself when, it, when I first started seeing the Tucson stuff. I thought the handle pattern and all the machining was a little bit, uh, a little bit strange looking with the uh, kind of pattern that they get here. My camera is not focusing very well. But the machining here on the handle, while I thought it was a little odd to look at at first, when I got the knife, it actually is, is very comfortable. It makes for a nice grippy pattern on this side. Um, it's kind of got high and low machining to it. Um, not really that easy to see here, but yeah, so at, at first I didn't think too much of it, but the, once I got one in and, and got it in my hand, uh, this is just an incredible knife all the way around. Um, for the price that I paid for it, probably 40 bucks for this one. Just an awesome, awesome knife. Really thrilled with it. Uh, I wish that they would actually make one of these in an M390 blade, but I've actually sent emails to Tucson, and they said that they have no plans for doing that, unfortunately, so I guess I'm... Stuck with the D2 steel, which, <laughs> sorry, again, mosquitoes. Yeah, so anyway, that's my review here on the Tucson TS-72. Uh, favorite knife currently. Thanks. Thanks for watching.